Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and you're watching Frecky Fit Wolf. Alright, so first of all, th there wasn't much of an intro because I don't know how to intro what I want to talk about today. And um, and I have been starting to say my name because not everybody can pronounce Frecky. Looking at you, Dish with D. Yeah. Anyway, so also one other side note. Sorry for the lighting in here right now. I broke my window shade. The The storm we had the other day, water started leaking in and coming everywhere. And while trying to figure out where it was coming from and what to do about it, the window shade won't close anymore. So now half my face is like whited out and the other half is shadowed. But it is what it is. And yeah. So what I want to talk about is... Basically, it has to do with your mindset and how you look at things, because I have gotten a couple of comments or um, emails and my last way in video. And then finally, uh, a, another YouTuber had posted a video and they all have this negative feel to it. And. I've said a long time ago that, you know, you have to love yourself to be on this type of journey. You have to love yourself to want to improve yourself. And so this particular YouTuber, and I'm not going to say his name, but if he comments below, if he happens to watch my channel, I don't even know if he does, and say that it's okay to say his name, then, then I'll put a link to his channel in my description box. But he was talking and he, he had just started. He, I mean, he's brand new. Um... I mean, I'm still fairly new, but still. Anyway, uh, he was talking. He had not recorded a video for two weeks because he felt ashamed of the fact that he has this weight loss channel and two weeks in a row he gained weight. And he started comparing himself to like Amberlynn Reed. And I don't know if you guys know who she is. And I'm not trying to talk smack about her or anything like that. But basically, she is a channel that started as a weight loss one. And she lost like 89 pounds and then proceeded to gain 250 more. And there's a lot of drama, a lot of issues going on there. And, you know, a lot of theories and accusations and whatever. I know it's a struggle, so I'm not accusing her of anything. But it is not a good example of what you want to do if you're trying to lose weight. I think she's trying to steer to a different route. And, you know, it's still a concern for her, but... You know, it is what it is. So he keeps he keeps trying to compare himself to her. I've heard him mention her name several times in videos. And he doesn't want to be like that. And he, you know, wants to be, you know, a weight loss channel and wants to be successful. And then, you know, he messes up. And he talked about that, you know, he was supposed to be quitting soda. And he ended up cutting back, but he didn't didn't quit completely and that you know he's trying to eat healthier and you know he even put a video of him you know eat, making a salad and but he was down on it because you know one the quality wasn't great and two it was leftovers from tacos so you know not necessarily you know the healthiest route or what have you and things like that and i i i had to cut the video like short because all of it. Like, he was looking down and being very hard on himself. And the thing is, guys, I have been that person. I can very easily get back into being that person very quickly. Yesterday was kind of hard for me. Um, but it's not the end-all, be-all. You've got to change your way of thinking. So I'm going to read my comment that I left. I, I kind of left a novel, so sorry. But either way. So, um... First, uh, I said, stop comparing yourself to Amberlynn. Uh, you aren't even... Uh, okay, side note with that. People accuse her of just milking her channel for money. And it, it could be. I don't know. I don't know the woman. I have no place to say. But I, so I go, you aren't even at the point of making money from YouTube, YouTube yet. So you cannot be accused by anyone, including yourself, of being like her. You're at the point where you realize what you want to do. You just have to figure out how to do it. You don't want to be like her? Then don't. Stop watching her channel and start watching channels where people are actually losing weight. They motivate me and keep me focused. I know they can do the same for you. 
So with that, like, that's kind of my advice to everybody. I, you know, watch what you want to be a part of. Watch what you want to do with your own life. My channel is filled with nothing but people on weight loss journeys or health journeys or anything like that. And that's all I watch on YouTube. I don't watch all of the negative, all of the, you know, the hate speeches, the reaction channels, all the drama, because I don't want that in my head. Because I, if you're thinking it about somebody else, you can start thinking it about yourself. Okay, so I said number two, focus on the positive. You, have, you haven't quit soda, but you have cut down. You ate a salad instead of more tacos. You're posting this video despite it not being filled with sunshine and rainbows. Maybe not focus on the scale yet. Maybe focus on making sure you're cutting back on the soda. Focus on eating the rainbow, aka e eating more fruits and vegetables. Focus on taking five or ten minutes to be active a day. Those are all goals you can do. Tackle one thing at a time and you'll work your way up to mastering it and taking control of your life. So with that, you know, instead of focusing on the negatives, focusing on where you failed, that that's not going to get you anywhere. If we all just focus on what we can do and where we succeed, it can change your whole outlook on everything. I, I mentioned, I later I, I'll read it, but I mentioned, you know, going back to some of my older videos where like I had to retrain my brain because I would look in the mirror and hate something about myself or, you know, focus on something being something that I failed. And you have to mentally slap yourself, physically do it if you have to, or like I said in the video, you know, get a rubber band and snap it every time you start, you know, trying to be down on yourself. And then after that, think about what you did right. So like in this scenario, I didn't, qu he didn't quit drinking soda, but he cut back. So oh, I didn't, I, I, I failed at quitting soda. Slap yourself, rubber band it, whatever, and be like, but I cut back. I used to drink this much soda. Now I drink this much. Those things can really add up. You slowly change. It's not going to happen overnight. It's a process. That's why they call this a journey. And that's why, you know, if you're going to be posting on YouTube, you can't be ashamed of when you don't do great. So like myself, when I was very much, I tried coming off as positive, but I was really down about losing only 0 0.6 pounds this week. But and that's also something I've learned, like I'm trying to change my own thinking. Instead of saying only down 0 0.6 pounds, say I lost 0.6 pounds. I didn't gain. I didn't, you know, maintain. I actually lost something. That is fantastic. End of sentence. No follow-ups with, but I wish it was more or any of that. I'm very, very guilty of that. Even when people say, you know, congratulations or compliment something, I'm very much one of those that tend to be like, thank you, but... I'm like, no, thank you. End of sentence. It's all it needs to be. All right. So after that, I go into saying, life is hard. Weight loss is hard. Nothing about this journey is going to be easy. But you have taken the first step. Even if it feels like a baby step, it is still a step. And then also I went on to tell him, look, uh, look the camera in the eye. You're looking down the entire time and being scared. I want you to start working on your confidence. You are trying. Uh, you are making. You have made mistakes. Own those mis mistakes. Accept those mistakes and then move on. I have made a ton of them. We have all. We all have. You cannot let that stop you or eat at you. It happened, but today is a new day. So, again, kind of what I've been saying, you know. Mistakes are going to happen. You're going to fall off. You're going to eat too many points. You're going to eat too many calories, too many bites, whatever you want to call it, whatever plan you're on. It's going to happen. But move on. Like, it, it happened. You can't change it now, so don't dwell on it. Don't obsess over it. Don't, in his case, don't avoid putting videos up because of it. Don't, you know, quit. Don't any of that. Just move on to the next day. This is the perfect time. I mean, it's... A couple of days after the start of a new month, but it's a new month. So, boom, new point of view. That's in the past. Even if you mess up today, right after that meal, okay, back on track. It's a new moment. It happened. Oh, well, life is life. You know, it's going to keep happening. But you learn from those mistakes. Okay, so... um I said, do, 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 do. over the past four years, I have, have have attempted and failed to lose weight. That's four years of trying before I got to where I am. 
At the point that I left this comment, I was only 12 weeks in and down 24 pounds, but that's a start. The beginning has to happen somewhere. Having my channel and sticking to my promise to post on Sundays and Tuesdays really keeps me accountable. Obviously, not everybody is going to have a channel. That was my advice to him. But, you know, I still stand by, you know, the beginning ha has to happen somewhere. If you're going to do weigh-ins on a certain day, stick to it. If you are going to do whatever you want to, whatever you have worked out to hold yourself accountable, stick to it. Whether you've messed up or not, you still have to keep going and keep trying. And that's all you can do, guys. All you can do is try. It doesn't hurt to try. If anything, you'll succeed, which will be fantastic. So then I go on to say, I might be coming off as harsh, and I apologize if I cross the line. But I see myself in you. I see the lack of confidence. I see the shame. I see the doubt. I also see the hope. I see the courage. I also see the need for a better life. I see the once for your channel. Pick one, do it, stick to a schedule, plan it out. Think about it all week until you're excited for it. While you're focused on your channel, I bet you won't be reaching for fattening food. Using YouTube as a venue to improve your life can be an amazing and useful tool. You just got to do it. And then I was like, sorry for writing a novel. Hope you take this the right way. See you next Wednesday. Because he wants to post on Wednesdays. But with that, like, I mean, like I said, I I see that lack of confidence. Because he was looking down all the time. And I I see, you feel shameful. You, you can feel doubt that you can succeed. But you have to have hope. You have to have courage. And that want for a better life. Everybody has that. Like, even if it's just a tiny little spark inside of you, you have that, those hopes, those, that courage, that, that want for a better life. You just got to, you know, keep working on those sparks until they become a giant flame. I don't know where I'm going with that analogy, but make it big and make that where you focus on. So in his case, I was telling him, like, because that's kind of what I do. Like, I start thinking about videos and planning videos so that I become excited for them and I'm focused on them. And while I'm writing it out or planning it out or whatever, I'm not reaching for food, which is great. And so find a hobby, find something that you can become passionate about, whether you have a YouTube channel or not, there's something that you can do to get you excited for. And focus on that, and you don't reach for food as often. And it can really, really, really help. It's helped me a lot. I mean, even when I say I'm only down 0.6 pounds, when you, you zoom out, th those add up. Over you know, all of last month, I lost about six pounds. Total, I am down 25 pounds. So when you have those little weeks that are not fantastic, where you have messed up, or you haven't lost what you thought you should lose, when that still adds up over time. And then when you look at it and zoom out and see the bigger picture, it's amazing. And that's what you've got to do, looking at the bigger picture. You didn't get to the size you're at overnight. It wasn't like one day you woke up and gained 300 pounds. It happened slowly over time. If you were to look at it and zoom in, like it could be the opposite of the spectrum. You're like, oh, well, it's only up a pound. And then slowly over time, you were up 300 pounds. I'm speaking about myself, you know, 350 something. But um, so you've got to take that and reverse it. And be like, all right, I'm only down this, but over time, it adds up. So I'm kind of repeating that. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling because this was very emotional for me. Um, because, like I said, especially watching him specifically, it it was hard. It, it, it struck a lot of emotional chords because, like I said, I have been that person and I can very easily be that person. And I know a lot of you can be that person where you feel down on yourself and you feel like you're not going to succeed, like you're not worth it, like you're not good enough. But you are. I am. He is. We are all worth it. We all deserve the life that we want, the health that we want, the success that we want. It's, it's in all of us. We just have to work hard on it and do everything that I've talked about. Change your way of thinking. Set small goals. Work on it over time and eventually it'll be amazing when we get there i'm excited for when i get there and i'm excited for the path on, along the way everything that i'm learning each week is, is awesome because 
it's kind of great when it's not just super super easy because I'm like, all right, well that didn't work. Like 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 my goal this week is to, you know, eat more, uh, eat all of my points, or you know, get as close to my points as I can. That is something that you know, if it was falling off easily, I might not address that, or I might not have realized about me being very sensitive to sodium, or you know, the importance of sleep. All of these tiny little factors when wouldn't happen if it was all happening so easily. And overall, all of those little things are improving my body, improving my health, and honestly, improving my my brain. My I'm, you know, being a lot more positive, a lot more upbeat, and it helps. So I feel like I'm kind of rambling at this point, but that is just something I wanted to express to everybody. And, you know, you've got to love who you are and learn to do that. So, yeah. So anyway... Sorry for the extra rambling. End of sentence. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So if you haven't yet, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell so you know when I post videos. I have some very exciting collabs coming up in the next couple of months. And let me know how you're doing on your journey. Let me know what if you have any tricks to keep yourself more positive and upbeat on this journey. Because we all need them. We all can get to those places. So until my next video, probably on Sunday when I do my weigh-in, I might have a special something to do on Thursday or Friday. We'll see. But either way, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.